Well, here in New Zealand, at this time of year, going into winter, it's just beautiful. And it's a very, very beautiful country. It's remote, fertile, hasn't got a large population, great rainfall, wonderful soils, so much old volcanic soil and fertility. It's a place where you feel safe. It feels like you can be very secure and definitely sustainable here. And there are opportunities. There's definitely opportunities to develop permaculture systems. And I'm on one. This is a site that's being developed as a new settlement, a permaculture settlement here. My mate Bob, Bob Corker here, and his wife Kay Baxter are some of the most well-known permaculture people with experience. We've been working together a long time and PRI, Permaculture Research Institute of Australia, is directly linked to Koanga Institute as the Permaculture Research Institute of New Zealand. And this site, has a lot to offer. Rivers, streams, water flows, great mild Mediterranean climate. And Bob's got a, a plan here to offer the opportunity for you to share it. So this is somewhere that you can come and invest in land. There's over 200 acres of land here that you can be involved in as a real food security lifestyle investment. Bob, tell us about what we've got here. It's such a beautiful flat area here that can be a village centre, a community development. Yeah, beautiful flat land, really good soil. Um, we've got a backdrop of hills around us that provide us with sources of water uh, and also catchment of water. Um, beautiful, beautiful climate really nice and quiet one of the main reasons we came here was we we wanted an area for the seeds that was away from commercial horticulture and away from the influences of um sort of big ag so it's it's a lovely isolated area but the town's about 20 minutes away beautiful community it's it's like old style new zealand really um town and beach yeah town and beach <laughs> um lots of hunting um really welcoming people great yeah Great friends and neighbours here. So we've got so. heritage seeds, you've got heritage fruit trees, you've got wild game, you've got good fishing, you've got a beach not far away, and you've got people with great experience to mentor you through into a self-sufficient lifestyle. Yeah. yeah I, I don't think I could I could come across I don't I've never come across a site that's got this much potential in real security as a permaculture development. Yeah, uh, yeah a major part of what we're doing here is, is centering the village around the Kaing Institute. So that will always be a source of knowledge and well, the seeds um, and knowledge and um, it, will, it will greatly increase our, our ability to be self-reliant here, having that knowledge here that we can always tap into. This is the sort of thing people are always asking us about. Can, do you have opportunities where we can move into a landscape and settle and, and get help getting on the ground with good experience, knowledge. We need more of these sites, but there are very few, and this is a classic opportunity to take up a position where you're sure you're gonna be in a very, very safe, healthy situation. So how do you, people are gonna to wanna to know how you actually get involved in this. What's the contact details? So if you could let people know how they can actually find out about this so they can make that move. Okay, so we, we've got a website, so it's um, kotarivillage.org.nz and you can also contact us through the um, Kawanga Institute website as well. So there's two ways of getting in contact us. You, you're welcome to phone me or Skype me. Uh, you can get those details from the website. Yeah. Yeah. And we're only three hours flight away over in New Zealand. I'm here all the time, coming over and visiting. We work together pretty closely. Yeah.